this is the only outcome associated with rolling a what? Three. You okay with that? Note then, if this is E, can you tell me what's in the complement of E? Yeah, one, what are they? One, two, what else? Don't tell me three. Why not? Why not three? Why not three? Complement of an event is the list of outcomes in the sample space, okay, that are not in the event. So it's one, two, four, five, and what? You okay with that? You guys okay with that? This information you need to know to answer the question. And then you need to know the definition, which is what? Odds four is the number of outcomes in the event, of the event to the number of outcomes in the complement of the event. So now you have to count. How many outcomes are in this event? How many? One. How many outcomes are in the complement of the event? One, two, three, four, five. So the odds for rolling a three is one to what? Five. Okay, you okay with this? Question? No? Question two. What's the next event? An even number. Can you guys tell me? Can you tell me which outcomes are associated with rolling an even number? Oh, look at the sample space. Which numbers are even? Two, four, what else? Six. Good. What's the complement of that event? One, three, and five. Good. How many outcomes are in E? How many? Three. How many are in the complement of E? Three. So you can say the odds for rolling an even number is three to what? Three. If you know something about ratios, because this is what it is, it's a ratio. The definition of odds is a ratio. Number of successes to the number of failures. There's three successes to three what? Failures. Do you guys know how to simplify this? If you can find a number that divides both without a remainder, do so. Three goes into three, right? So this reduces to one to what? To one. So one success for five failures for the first problem, one success to one failure to the what? Second problem. Which would be a better game? Which would be a better game for you? The even, is that right? Okay, anybody have any questions on this? You sure? Okay, number three. What does three say? Less than three. Oh, you see that language all the time that shows up? Less than three? Which outcomes are less than three? One and two. Is that true? Now, what's the complement of E? Three, four, five, and one. Apply the definition of odds for two to what? To four. Can you redo this? It's one to what? Two. So this is odds for there is one success for every two. Players.
four. Question four. What's four? A number more than what? Two. More than two. Okay, which outcomes are more than two? Three, four, five, and what? Six. Is that true? Do we do more than two there? I guess we have. What's the complement of that? One and, two. One and two. Good. What's the odds for? Four to two, better known as two to one. Okay, here's the story, right? See if you're awake. What is the odds against? for these problems. We'll write it in blue. Odds against. Hmm? Just do what? Reverse the numbers. 5, 2, 1. Five failures for every one success. This is what they give you in this. 1, 2, what? 1. And then? 2, 2, what? One, and then one, two, what? Two. Okay, you guys with this? Um, here's the deal. You remember the question that was asked? Somebody says, you know what? Um, Is this the same as probability? The answer is no. It's a different definition. However, I'll write it down. Right, you guys have your definitions, is that right? However, probability and odds are related. They're related to one another. Okay, they're related in a very specific way. So what I'm going to do here is give you some information about probability and about, you know, odds. So let's see how to give this to you. A few things. Here, let's look at some facts, okay? Here's some facts. First fact. Let E be an event. Do you guys know that 0 is less than or equal to the probability?